Hey guys, this is Curtis Alexander. I'm a pharmacist. In today's video, I'll be talking about how to taper off antidepressants. Obviously, um, antidepressants are, uh, no matter which one you're talking about, they're used by a lot of people. And uh, I can't tell you how many people I've, I've encountered over the years who've tried to go off them too fast. When you do that, it's one of those medication classes that can cause withdrawal symptoms when you do that. So people can get nauseous, uh, dizzy, anxiety, insomnia, headaches, almost uh, sort of flu-like symptoms. And it's that's kind of indicative that they tried going off it too fast. So that's what we want to avoid. Obviously, this is something you have to talk to your doctor about first. It's not something you can just do willy-nilly. But there's a few factors, actually four, that I look at that I encourage you and your doctor to talk about. So first and foremost, let's just hop right into it. So you really do need to pay attention to which medication you're on. Medications do matter. There's different classes of antidepressants. They all act on different receptors. They have different uh, rates at which they get in and are absorbed by your body and how fast they're metabolized and how fast they're eliminated. So um, those are some of the things we need to keep in mind. To give you an example, if you were taking something like Prozac, Prozac has a longer half-life. And so what a half-life means is that when you take a medication, if its half-life is 24 hours, that means in 24 hours, 50% of the drug is out of your system versus something like uh, probably an Effexor would be a faster, uh, shorter half-life. So say in like 12 hours, 50% of the medication is out of your system. Why that's important is because when something has a shorter half-life, you run a higher risk of seeing withdrawal symptoms if you go too fast because it's out of your system sooner. Um, so those are the kind of things that we have to take into account. It can't just be a one type rule for how to get off antidepressants. You have to take into account the medication. The next thing, you have to go slowly. So it, it comes up, it's like, well, can I do this in days? Uh, in most cases, no. You're going to be looking at weeks, sometimes months, to get off an antidepressant. Again, it depends on the medication, depends on the person depends on how long they've been taken, those sorts of things, but it is gonna take weeks to months, even weeks usually if you've just recently started it. Okay, and that kind of jumps into our next point. You have to take into account how long you've been taking the medication. I know people that have been on antidepressants for decades, uh, 20 plus years. If somebody like that you know, wanted to get off their antidepressant, it's going to be months before they can do that in most cases. If somebody just started the antidepressant, they've only been on it a month, four to six weeks, and they're not experiencing any benefit yet, antidepressants take a while to start seeing benefit. But let's say it's just four to eight weeks, maybe that person can depend on the dose or on, you know, get off it a lot quicker, just a couple weeks. So anytime you look at this, you have to take into account how long they've been taking the medication. And lastly, have they tried and failed a taper in the past? When people have tried to get off a medication in the past and it didn't go well, or maybe it wasn't done in the best way possible, that makes people very anxious, number one, and it makes them prone to um, problems with tapering off in the future. So I always go a little slower with these folks. So if you're someone who's tried it in the past, it didn't work out, my advice would be uh, find a taper and then take it even slower than that. Which brings up a good point. If you try a taper and let's say it goes a little fast and you start to experience some withdrawal symptoms, what should you do? What should you and your doctor do? First of all, go back to the previous dose. Let's say somebody was uh, taking Prozac, 20 milligrams a day, and their their first jump, you know, they jumped down to 10 and did five, you know, did okay, and then they tried to go to five and they, they got a little bit of withdrawal symptoms. Probably not the best example in the world, but I'm 
going off the cuff here. If they were okay at 10, but experienced something at five, you would bump them back to the 10 milligram dose where they didn't have withdrawal symptoms, keep them there, and then slow the taper down. If they were supposed to go to five milligrams in a week, bump it out to two weeks. Let them acclimate at that 10 milligram dose before you drop them down again. So, um, like I said, these are four main factors. If you take these into account, talk to your doctor about them, there's a really good chance uh, you'll be able to taper off without any issue. So, hope the video was helpful. As always, if, if it was, if it was valuable, Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.